Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a new set of microphones that I've purchased that I am quickly falling in love with and I think maybe you might as well. When I first started doing a remote microphone setup I went with the Rode Wireless Go and you can see that right here on my shirt. Normally I have it tucked inside my pocket to get it out of the way as much as possible or I might turn it inside out so that just the clip is showing on the outside. Um, but today I'm here, I have it here because I want to demonstrate uh, what it looks like compared to the rest of the microphones that, uh, that I just bought. And I, so I went with the Rode Wireless Go and I, I did a video a long time ago trying out the volume and the sound and how well it was going to pick me up at a, at a great distance. And I'll, I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description if I don't forget. And um, that was hooked up to my Canon M50. So as I progressed through, I, I, got, uh, I got this hooked up to my EOS R at the moment. And at, at one point, I thought I had left it in a hotel room. Could not find it for the life of me. So I ordered a second one, um, which I didn't really need. Man, it was, I didn't need to spend the money on it, but I did because I wanted a mic. And the day it arrived, I found the old one. <laughs> now, a couple of things about this, and this is, this is sort of the system. Let's see if I can disconnect this here. This is the system. So there is the the little uh, base that sits on the camera, it has a plug that plugs into the microphone jack. And then there is the microphone and they are both exactly the same size. Now this one has a dead cat on it and what I found with the, with the Rode Wireless Go is I could not for the life of me figure out how to keep a dead cat microphone on here. I lost a couple of them, had to order a replacement. And so this one is my outdoor mic um, because it is super glued <laughs> onto this microphone and it will not come off. And then this one is my indoor mic. So at, at some point I, I was looking into trying to get a setup where I could connect two mics to the camera. Uh, the more I've worked with Ron Durant, Phil Thatch, and some others, uh, and we go out to shoot together, I thought, well, it'd be really nice to be able to mic both of us um, and shoot some video that way. So I looked at the Rode Wireless Go uh, that has the two camera, or the two microphones in it, and it was just horrendously expensive, and I didn't want to spend that money. And so then I looked at the DJI Pocket 2. It has a setup where you can connect two, mi two microphones to it, uh, and I almost bought that system, but again, I was, I was kind of on the fence of, do I spend this much money? Do I, what do I do? Uh, you know, is it that important to me? And then just recently I came across um, a video of someone who was using the Comica. I think that's how you say it. It could be Comica, but I'm going to say Comica. Um, and it's the Vimo C. Now the Vimo C... Um, comes in a box like this, and when you open it up, I'll get some uh, other shots here, but when you open it up, this is the base compared to, compared to the Rode Wireless Go base. Um, and so it's much smaller. This would fit on the camera with a with a, uh, a, a cable going into the camera, and then it comes with two microphones, uh, and they look like this. And so you can see, when I compare that to the Rode Wireless Go microphone, it is much smaller. And if I were to put it on my shirt here, oh, let's put it the other way so it's, they're both the same. If I put it on my shirt here, you can see on my shirt um, one is much smaller, becomes less obtrusive to the camera, which was something else that I was kind of going for. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a couple of clips here. One clip I took uh, at a park here locally 
using the Rode Wireless Go as sort of a base. And then I put on the Kamika as a second uh, look at the microphone. I didn't change any settings inside the camera. Um, so let, let's take a look at those. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am out here at a park in Chattanooga to check out some new microphones that I have. I'm using my Rode Wireless Go that I bought some time ago and I made a video about it. I'll try to put a link in the description. I don't know how to put a card up here in the corner. Um, but I did a video checking out how the quality of this on my Canon M50 and I was really, really impressed of being able to get about 200 feet away from my camera and still being able to hear me like I was standing right next to it. All right, now, before we go with the Kamika mics, um, let me just say that I, I have the microphone set up in the, can, in, the, in the Canon EOS R. I have the settings in there set up so that when I pull it into DaVinci Resolve, the audio is spot on. I don't have to adjust it up or down. Um, it, it, it's just where I want it. It's perfect. So when I plugged in the Kamika and walked out there to take the shot, I forgot that the bass, um, and I'll get a shot of this here, but I forgot that the bass has um, a volume control in it in a setting of one, two, three, and four which is sort of adjusting the gain in the microphone. And uh, I had it set on four. I didn't realize that. And the, the audio came out unusable. It was so loud. When you turn it down, you still got all this crackling and noise and stuff. And so I went out in the backyard in the rain <laughs> and re-recorded the video. So here is the first video where the sound is too loud. All right, so I've put the dead cat. And then here is the sound where uh, I went out in the backyard and I had set the volume control on the bass to two. And so let's listen to that. Now, I'm not making any adjustments in DaVinci Resolve. This is just how the sound comes out. When I was at the park earlier and I had the Kamika on for my Canon, I had forgotten that I have a volume control on the mic bass and it's a volume control of one, two, three, and four. And I had unfortunately had it set at four. Okay, and then I went back and I set it down to one and I brought it back in. Now one, as you'll hear, is much quieter and in DaVinci Resolve, I might have to turn the gain up just a little bit, but it would be better if I just adjusted the volume inside the camera by one little notch and it'd probably be perfect. Let's hear what that sounds like. This is what it sounds like when I turn the volume down to one within the base of the Kamika uh, Vimo C. Now, I have the volume control set exactly the same inside the camera as I did for the Rode Wireless Go. So it's kind of an experiment to figure out for your camera where you need that setting. But for me, the lower the setting, the better. So that is the Kamika Vimo C. Now, what I was looking for um, was a mic, pull this back off my shirt. What I was looking for was a microphone that would actually work on my iPhone because I want to be able to take my iPhone out. Sometimes when I'm using the DJI Pocket 2 to take, image, to take video of myself taking pictures or whatever, it's really hard to see in that little tiny screen exactly what I'm videoing. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I thought rather than take two camera bodies, I could just hook my phone up, put a, cam or put a microphone on my phone, and then I can see where I'm at. Uh, and that would work a lot better. And when I got this one, when I got the uh, Kamika Vimo C, um, I needed an adapter to go on my phone and so I bought this adapter and then realized that this adapter doesn't work because I needed something that was MFI certified or something, I don't know. Um, and this one was not. 
And so I was kind of at a loss as to what to do. And because the, uh, the Kamika microphones were so cheap, I just bought another one. So I bought the uh, Kamika Vimo S. Now, this little thing right here, this is amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. So first of all, when you open it up, it automatically tells you inside the case how much charge is left on everything. And both of the microphones are inside the case. So when I pull this microphone out uh, and I look at it compared to the other Kamika microphone, it's even smaller. Oh my gosh, it's like tiny. I love it. Um, and so, uh, and, and if I put it on my shirt, you can see how much less space it takes up and how easily it could be hidden when I'm out taking video. Um, so, on this one, uh, it took me a little bit to figure this out, but the part that, that plugs into my phone is actually on the bottom and it just comes out. Everything is magnetized. When you put it back in, it, it magnetically holds it there. There's a magnet inside to hold the microphones as well. Um, and this one, instead of a volume of one, two, three, and four, this one has a little gain dial on it. But all you do, take your phone, take this, plug it in, boom, you're done. Your phone knows you've got an external microphone and you're ready to record. There are no cables, there's no nothing. This thing is beautiful. And the nice part about it is, because it's so lightweight and small, if I wanted to use it on my gimbal, it's not gonna, it's not gonna mess the counterweight up enough to, to mess the, the balance up. And I can get it balanced and use it with the gimbal and just be, I, I, I don't even know how well I will enjoy this. Um, and so, this is what I have. Uh, this is what I've done. I have purchased this one strictly for my phone. This is going to go with me when I go to Italy, and I'm going out to shoot some waterfalls here soon. This one is the one that's going with me to shoot on my phone, and I'm going to take um, the Kamika Vimo uh, C in case I want to shoot something on my camera, and the whole video will be shot on this microphone. Now, here's the deal. This is, what, this is the other part that I love about these so much. How much do they cost? $119. $119. If you want one, I've got some links in the description down there, and I will tell you they are affiliate links, and I'll get a few cents from Amazon if you buy one, but I would highly recommend that you check it out and see, um, see if you like them. And uh, when we make the next video with these mics, I'll make sure to point out the fact that I'm using them. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.